you don't have chicken skin. And let's stop calling it that. Let's call it what it actually is, keratosis pilaris, otherwise abbreviated as KP. Yes, it can look like chicken skin or it can look like goosebumps, but a lot of people are teased using that chicken skin term and you don't have chicken skin, you have you skin. And the good news is that even if you have it, there are things that you can do about it. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Also, no, KP is not the same as acne, even though they can look similar. And that's why if you've been using your benzoyl peroxide face wash on your arms and your thighs and your butt, it might not be working. <laughs> and today we're actually working with Dr. Pimple Popper, Dr. Sandra Lee, MD herself on this video. And she's providing different photos of this condition as well as before and after pictures of her actual patients. So what is KP or keratosis pilaris? If regular skin is carpeting, then keratosis pilaris is like the exotic rug. You know the rugs that actually have texture to them and they have cool patterns or red little spots? That's basically what these are, and they show up as these red or sometimes white bumps that normally happen on the back of the arms, on the thighs, and yes, even on the butt or on the cheeks. They are bumpy, and the good thing is that they're usually not painful, but they can be itchy, especially if you're someone who has dry skin plus KP or eczema plus KP. And yes, dry skin can make them worse. That's also why a lot of people get flare-ups in the winter, uh, specifically when humidity levels get lower and when the air gets drier, our skin starts to freak out a little bit more. And if you are genetically predisposed to KP, uh, because it does run in families, you might notice that your skin feels a little bit more like sandpaper this time of year. Now, KP might feel like sandpaper on the skin, but when you actually get really close, it's quite different and it's quite fascinating. We know that all over our skin we have pores, and keratin is the protein in skin, right? Well, KP is a disorder of hyperkeratinization. Hyper meaning excessive or more. Keratinization, keratin, talking about this protein in our skin. And for people with KP, your skin is just so good at producing protein and keeping it close by that this protein, this keratin, almost clogs up the little hair follicles and it almost creates a little tent or like a little pyramid around each hair that's growing out of the skin. Your body creates so much of this keratin protein that your skin can't shed it quickly enough and it does end up building up, kind of creating this appearance and this feel. If you've got it, where did you get it? Where did it come from? And what can you do to make it go away? Well, KP is actually still kind of a mystery. We have some solid ideas as to why it happens, but they aren't definitive. The biggest thing right now is that KP seems to be genetic. There's dominant inheritance, meaning that if even one out of your two parents has it, you're going to have it. It might not show up for you or it might not manifest, but it could because it's something that seems to be carried genetically or, you know, through a family. If you do have eczema or if you do have more dry skin, you're more likely to experience KP as well. But I've got some good news for you. Number one, it's not dangerous. It can't harm you. Number two, it is not contagious. You can't spread it or give it to anyone else. Number three, it is not life-threatening. And other than some of the aesthetics of it, it really isn't a problem. And that brings us to number four, which is yes, if you want to do something about it, then you can. You see, because it appears to be genetic, there is no cure for it, meaning that if you're born with it, you're going to have it throughout the rest of your life. However, that doesn't always mean that it'll show up or that it'll flare up. And and there are specific products and treatments we can use to try to keep it at bay or to mitigate how it looks and feels. The best way to treat KP is through chemical exfoliants. If you think about it, this KP is a buildup of this dead keratin. So if we exfoliate that off, we can kind of refresh and recreate this smooth skin, getting rid of the extra keratin that our skin just can't handle naturally. There are also physical exfoliators such as gentle scrubs and such as loofahs. The only thing I wanna point out is that, especially if you're using something like a loofah, something really physical like that, that doesn't have a chemical exfoliator combined with it, um, some of that rub can increase redness and it can actually increase the red appearance of KP. So although yes, something like a loofah or a shower sponge can help, um, it could also exacerbate the condition for some people. Now chemical exfoliants are really the thing that dermatologists reach for most, and specifically alpha hydroxy acids seem to be the first choice. Remember that those AHAs are water soluble, and they not only exfoliate the top layer of skin, but they can kind of act as humectants, meaning they can actually hold on to water and moisture. And remember, KP tends to appear in more dry skinned people and it tends to appear when the humidity levels get lower and when the air gets drier. So if we can give the skin back some of that moisture, that's what's going to serve it the best. 
Out of all the different AHAs that are out there, glycolic acid and lactic acid seem to be the best. They are the most well tolerated, they are extraordinarily effective, they are safe to use, and yes, that includes on all skin tones, on all colors, on all Fitzpatrick levels. Um, as with any skincare product, you should always patch test first, but especially over the counter, and especially these, such as from Sandra Lee MD and from Paula's Choice, totally safe and very effective. Glycolic acid specifically has one of the smallest molecules. I believe it's around 76 grams per mole or something. And depending on the formula and how it's formulated with the pH and the pKa value of a product, that glycolic acid can actually penetrate really deep, meaning that you're getting great exfoliation and a little bit of that humectant or hydration activity. To help smooth out bumpy skin from KP or even ingrown hairs and razor burn, I recommend using products with glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is a strong surface exfoliator. It's the same ingredient that we dermatologists use in chemical peels for the face and body. What this will do is exfoliate the skin, help minimize any of the existing bumps on the surface of the skin, and lighten the discoloration. There are some different options that I have here that you can use on the body, and this first one is actually a set. You can buy these individually or together. But this is the SLMD Body Smoothing System. This was actually created by Dr. Sandra Lee, MD, who is Dr. Pimple Popper, who you know that I am obsessed with. And yes, she's a dermatologist. She actually comes from a family of doctors, and yes, she has experience in cosmetic formulation, and that's why she creates these products for her patients. These, again, are sold as a set. You can get them separately, but what's great about them is that they both have this glycolic acid. There's the glycolic acid body scrub as well as the glycolic acid body lotion and we'll start with this one that you can use in the shower um, a lot of people are afraid of scrubs because obviously you don't want to cause micro tears in your skin but obviously you also don't want to flush little beads down the drain and you know kill the fish with microplastics the great thing about this is that it is a glycolic acid body scrub but it is extraordinarily gentle and it is safe for even sensitive skin the beads actually dissolve so again they give a slight physical exfoliation to the skin but the real powerhouse in here is the glycolic acid again it's that really small molecule, that AHA, that not only exfoliates the dry bumpiness, but it also adds a little bit of that extra hydration because that glycolic acid, again, it's water soluble, loves water, and it can kind of pull some of that into the skin too. When we turn and learn those ingredients, we also see that this has lactic acid too. Remember, lactic acid is another one of those AHAs, and together they work even better. This also has willow bark extract, which can be turned by the skin into a form of salicylic acid, and it's also got Camilla sensus leaf extract, which is green tea. This is an excellent antioxidant that really supports the skin, and it can really help to soothe things out and calm inflammation. You want to really exfoliate the skin because it makes your skin look more vibrant, more alive. It helps to minimize the pores, really cleans the skin, and it makes you feel great. A physical exfoliant is one in which you manually abrade the skin, whether it be a topical that has scrubs in it or grains in it, or even a washcloth that you might be a little bit more rough on your skin and try to get off that dry, dull skin layer. Chemical exfoliants work a little differently. They use enzymes or acids to help break down the dirt and the debris on the surface of the skin. Now remember that when we're exfoliating, we're actually removing that top layer of skin, the stratum corneum. And when we do that, it's great because it'll smooth things out. But remember that the skin is also dry. So what a lot of people don't realize is that just because you exfoliate doesn't mean you're done. Ideally, you should be moisturizing as well, and specifically moisturizing with ingredients that are also going to help you exfoliate and keep both that dryness and that bumpiness away. Of course, there's also salicylic acid. Remember, salicylic acid is a BHA, meaning it's oil soluble, and this is what's often used in acne. This happens to be one from Paula's Choice. This actually is the old packaging that shows you how long I've had this. I personally have a little bit of KP on my calves, and I've had this forever, and that's when I used to use it. This one does have straight up salicylic acid as well as that willow herb, um, but remember that salicylic acid is oil soluble. Salicylic acid can help decrease oil, but remember that oil Oil is also made by our skin naturally, and it's what waterproofs our skin so that our skin doesn't dry out. And KP is associated with more dry skin. So if the skin is already dry, you don't want to be using an acid or a chemical exfoliant that could potentially dry it out more. Still a viable option, and again, with all of these things, it's kind of hit and miss. You really have to experiment and see what your skin likes best. However, from a medical perspective, when it comes to what dermatologists normally recommend, almost everyone starts with the glycolic acid because that's what usually works best for people. 
This is the glycolic acid body lotion, and yes, it has glycolic acid, which can help exfoliate, but it's also got shea butter, which is an amazing, amazing moisturizer, as well as sodium hyaluronate. And remember that sodium hyaluronate is related to hyaluronic acid, that ingredient that actually is a humectant, meaning it draws water in and holds on to it. And if you've got dry skin, as long as you have water in that formula or other products that you're putting on your skin that that sodium hyaluronate can grab from, that's a great way to ensure that your skin is staying moisturized. This one is around $35 at Target, and again, it does the exfoliation as well as the moisturization. And Dr. Pimple Popper actually created this specifically for people with KP and with these types of skin conditions to ensure that skin is exfoliated, but it's not overly stripped and it remains hydrated. You can use this up to twice daily if you want. Um, I would personally just recommend using it after you get out of the shower, specifically after you use some sort of exfoliator or some sort of chemical exfoliant on your skin. Um, when you get out of the shower, or literally like right after you dry off, apply this because that's going to lock in any moisture and prevent your skin from losing more moisture which can happen through a process called transepidermal water loss, which is very common for those of us like myself who also take extraordinarily hot showers. That's another hint as well. Try to cut out the hot showers. Anything too hot or too cold could exacerbate KP or other skin conditions. Um, and taking a lukewarm shower is the best way to relax, practice some self-care, as well as taking care of your hygiene. Now, there are also products that claim to hydrate as well as exfoliate. This is one of them. This is, again, one of the OGs from Skin Fix or Skin FX. Um, this is the renewing cream that is clinically proven to smooth dry, bumpy skin and KP. They do this with exfoliants and moisturizers. Um, again, I used this in the past. I don't actually know if they even make this anymore. I know that they have completely rebranded. But this one has a base of water, aloe, and coconut. And I, because I personally have more acne-prone skin, um, was not the biggest fan of this. And coconut oil when left on the skin can exacerbate acne in some people. Remember, KP is not the same as acne. KP is this keratin in the skin that's just growing too much and not getting out of there like it should, and acne is actually caused by bacteria. However, many people do confuse them, and some products can work for both, such as glycolic acid, and so this is one that I have used, but it wouldn't be my personal first choice for my skin type. And that's the other thing I want you to remember, that technically anything that you put on your face, you could use on your body. If you have an AHA or a chemical exfoliant that you use here, you can put it here. However, it's probably going to cost a lot more money because think of the sizes of facial products versus the sizes of body products. And that's why if you can find something that is formulated for your condition, and if you can actually get six fluid ounces, so a large amount, and this one is 7.5 fluid ounces, you end up saving money just based on a volume perspective. I know that both of these individually are around 35 at Target, and they are sold together in a kit from Dr. Sandra Lee herself. The kit is less expensive, but when you compare that, you're getting two to three times the amount of product for the same price that you would get in a normal facial cleanser. That is something to think about if you ever want to start putting different products on different areas of your body. I think what this really means for you and the biggest takeaway is that your skin is amazing. Even when things go wrong, your skin protects you. It takes care of you, and we need to return the favor, right? The great thing about KP is that it's not dangerous, it's not harmful, and if you want to live with it, you are totally empowered to do so. I know that it can be unesthetic to some people or some people don't like the physical feel of it and that's why thank goodness there are products but I also know that a lot of people get bullied for it especially teens they get bullied because you know it's kind of obvious if you're wearing a t-shirt or a tank top um, there's nothing that I can say that can take away the words from bullies. And if you need help, I strongly encourage that you go talk to someone, you go get it. But I do want to leave you with a note that your appearance has no impact on what you can do for this world. The amazing things you do, the amazing person that you are to your friends, to your family, to people even outside of those circles, does not matter what you look like. The way you contribute is unparalleled and nobody can replace that. And your appearance can't hinder it unless you let it. I've left the links to my favorite cruelty-free products below as well as some medical studies and sources. And I want you to go ahead and turn and learn those ingredients with me. Check them out on the website, see what you think. Open up some of those papers and see if you can start to decipher them or learn a couple things. And also make sure that that like button is hit and that subscribe and notification bell are on so that when we talk about more conditions, you'll be the first to learn about them. Always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. Love the skin you're in. And I cannot wait to see you in this next video where I actually react to and critique Dr. Pimple Popper's skincare routine. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.